Hey everybody, this is the update for Sunday, July 1st, number 17. Um, I have to apologize, I didn't tape Sunday's service. Um, because Adam played so poorly, I didn't, no, I'm kidding. I actually, we forgot to tape it. Um, we don't tape our services as a practice, so any of the taping that we've been doing for the updates, I've just been popping up the camera myself. And so I was going to try a different camera this week, and uh, and I, I put it up there and got it all set up. And uh, about halfway through the first song, realized I hadn't started it, so I hadn't started the camera before we took the stage. So um, maybe next week I'll remember to do that. The set went great. Uh, two acoustics again. Um, Adam brought his lap steel just to show me. Uh, but because of that, he had his slide with him, and so later on in the in the set, he played some slide guitar on his acoustic, which was nice. We opened with Paul Balash's Stir Up a Hunger, which is a favorite among our people. Um, not a real fast song, a lot of, there's a lot of groove to it, um, and because people like to sing it, it went good. I don't think, I think it lost a little something not having a full band. That was one that I felt like as we were playing, I thought, well, this probably wasn't the best pick for two acoustics. Um, did a welcome. We had a our, our student ministry was back from a week long mission trip called UM Army, and so they spoke very briefly about uh, the you know the things they had been doing this past week. Uh, then we came up with uh, Lamont Hebert's meet with me. Um, actually, did the guitar lead. Sometimes we don't do it. Sometimes we do the lead that's in the Paul Balash version that he did for Maranatha a few years ago. And so Adam had learned that lead, and he did that on acoustic. From there, we went into How Great Thou Art, a uh, very traditional version, um, changed up the phrasing just a little bit, but uh, it wasn't any sort of modernized hymn, really. It was it was pretty straight ahead what folks are, are used to hearing and singing. Uh, and then from there, we just we prayed and prayed over the offering, and um, then we did Brian Dirksen's Our Father in Heaven, which I was really excited to do. You know, the challenge here in the Methodist Church, for me, in a contemporary service, is to always have a balance of um, the reverence with the celebration. And so I think that's why I'm drawn to Brian Dirksen's stuff, because I, I feel like it just lands right in the middle for us. And so, um, Our Father in Heaven, which is obviously the Lord's Prayer set to music, um, it's not word for word the Lord's Prayer. There's some paraphrasing and there's some repeats and things in there. Um, it's really good. The, the reason I did that, of course it was the first Sunday of the month, so we were doing communion, we do it once a month. Uh, but the other reason I wanted to try to the two acoustic setup is because um, I have a worship leader friend who we were talking uh, a few months ago about Paul Balash's Hosanna. I was talking about the problem with Hosanna for us had always been that we couldn't get it big enough. Probably because we only had one electric and the CD version has all sorts of overdubs. And so I was talking to a friend of mine, and he said, you know, what I did with that song, he said, I actually taught it uh, with just um, acoustic and djembe. He said, I talked to my people like that. And then because of that, when they learned it like that, um, then anything else that they added uh, was above and beyond what folks had first learned. And so Our Father in Heaven is a huge song. Uh, but the one thing I was kind of excited about is to do it like this acoustically. And so now... When, when Unplugged is over and we get the band back on stage, I think it's going to be a really nice dynamic change to hear how big that song really is, but it worked with two acoustics, which I liked. Um, I was a little worried about it, but it went fine, and folks were singing along, it's a great song. Um, so that's it. Um, I apologize I don't have video. Oh, on Our Father in Heaven, I'm sorry, that's the one that Adam played slide guitar on, on his acoustic, which was, which was pretty cool. Um, He's new to slide, but you know he did some really tasteful stuff. He didn't really, but did one real busy. I mean, it was almost like slide swells, you know. So it was, it was really cool. Um, so that's the update for July first. Uh, thanks for watching. Next week I'll try to have some video. I apologize for that. Um, and uh, please, if you're watching this, please get involved in some of the worship discussions we've been having. We just did a post about. Uh, why churches don't have crosses in their buildings anymore and I'd love to know what you guys think um, you know the, this site gets gets commented a lot by my friends uh, but those of you who watch the confessionals uh, get on there and tell me what you think